Hey guys, Eileen Vick here with Adult Coloring with Eileen Vick. And this is a continuation of my uh, video series on Selena Fennish, uh Mermaids. I hope all is well with you and that God has blessed and graced you. Um, here's the drawing that we're working on. Let me get to it. Do you recall that's our mermaid in the bathtub? that I've been doing. And the last thing that we were working on was our candles. And I showed you how to draw those in individually along the bottom that you can go ahead and add as many as you want. Hopefully you've gotten a little bit of practice with that and have your candles drawn in. And tonight I'm going to show you how to do the floorboards. Now, Floorboards are not exotic. They're very straightforward to do. Don't let them throw you. We just need to have a, a couple of tools handy to do this. And once you see the pattern of how I do this, I think you're going to find it to be a very straightforward process. All right, so... Let me turn this camera and get a really good angle for you. Oh, I'm hoping that your week has been going well and will go well. Let's see, tonight's Sunday, so hopefully last week was great for you and this week will be even better. All right, so floorboards. Now, this particular drawing here does not have the candles that we did. Um, it shouldn't show, uh, mess you up, and in fact, the reason that I don't want to do the one with the candles is because it would cut off the uh, pattern, so I'll show you how to do the floorboards, and then you'll see how to fit it in between, and depending on how gabby I get, I just may go back to this sheet for you and show you how to do it on this sheet with all the candles. All right, so what you're going to need is your triangle to draw your lines and this one's a little bit it's a little bigger um, you can also use a straight edge like this a, com uh, um, a compass I always say compass and you can go ahead and draw your lines with this it's just whatever you're comfortable with so the desired effect is you want to have it again look like this. Okay? So, what you're going to do is take your triangle, let me grab my pencil, and pick an angle that you want your floorboards at. Now, you could go straight like this if you wanted, in other words, straight up and down. But just for it looking a little cooler, I decided that I wanted it at an angle. Let me straighten up my sheets here. So, get your triangle, pick your angle, draw your line. Now again, make your pencil line very, very light because trust me, if you don't, it's going to come and bite you in the end because when you go to color over that, sometimes pencil will show right through, uh, lead pencil will show right through colored pencil. It just does. So there's my line and now all I'm going to do is start drawing parallel lines. Now, you have a choice here. I'm eyeballing the distance between each one, but if you think that you need to have it more precise, you can. Uh, let's see, I made this... Oh, let's see... By eyeball, I made it 5 eighths. So, What I'll do is I'll go ahead and mark this off. 
Let me double check my distance. You want to measure twice, cut once, of course. Yeah. And remember, sometimes floorboards, just depending on the floor, may not be exactly even. So if it doesn't come out even, don't have a cow over it. There you go. And the reason I also like my clear triangle is because I can see through it in order to make the lines parallel. So just draw your lines the way that you want them. Again, draw them very lightly. Da -da -da -da. Gosh, I didn't even turn my music on this evening, did I? That's unusual for me. Well, give me a second here. All of you guys have been telling me how much you like that piano music, and so I like to have it as a little background. It'll be up shortly. There we go. All right, so continue to draw your lines parallel to each other and whatever distance visually looks good to you. And remember, you're drawing through your candles now and you're drawing through the objects that are on the floor. There we go. Very, very lightly. And remember, if you have an object in your way, you want to draw through or around that object. So some of the wax. has dribbled on the floor, so I'm going around the wax, because of course that's going to make it look more realistic. Let's see, we'll put one more right there, oops. And if you make a little boo-boo like I just did, of course you can erase it. Let's see something here, okay. So here we are. We're doing our floorboards, we're doing the lines parallel to each other, very, very light. Again, if you want to measure precisely, have at it. You're drawing, you decide what you want to do with that. Let me zoom in a little bit for you. Now, notice on that last line that I drew, there's just a little tiny spot right here where you would still see the floorboard, so I drew it in. So look and see where on the image your floorboard is going to show up and where it won't. And if you are um, ending up in between little wax splotches, then skip the wax splotches because that's going to make it look real, more realistic, of course. In fact, when I'm done doing this one, I'm going to go ahead and pull the sheet that's got all those candles in there that I added for you, and I'll show you how to uh, draw your boards around that. I mean, it's, it's pretty straightforward, but, you know, picture's worth a thousand words, and I like to show you this stuff. Okay. See that? All right, so now we got our lines across the page, which you can clearly see. Let me pull my one that's got all the candles on it. Of 
and that way you can see exactly what to expect when you go to draw your lines. Okay, so here's my sheet that's got all the candles on it that we drew. So I'm going to draw my first line. I'm going to pick my angle. I'm mm, going to go like that maybe. Turn my camera a little bit. Excuse my hand. Alright, so lightly draw my floorboard. There's my first one. Now notice how I am avoiding the wax on the floor, so I'm skipping over the puddles, which is going to make it look very realistic. All right. And while I'm doing this, I hope everybody had a great week last week and that Wednesday, and that the weekend was restful for you and I hope you have a great upcoming week. I've got a couple of doctor appointments coming up. I'm going to the dentist on Thursday. And then I have to go to my other doctor because I they found a, a lump in my shoulder and it looks what it is is it looks like the bone is pushing up from underneath and so that lump the bones underneath an artery so the bones pushing the artery and the arteries pushing on my skin so when you touch my shoulder you can feel it you can it's funny because you can take my uh, pulse by just putting your hand on it but it's got to be fixed so that may be shoulder surgery but that's okay. God's got it covered for me. All right. So here we go. See, it's no big deal now to skip over all these little candle blobs that we put in. All you have to do is look and see where the candle will cover up the floorboard joint and where it doesn't. And if you make a mistake, you're doing it in light pencil, erase it, right? That's why I don't want you to ever fuss about add-ons to your pages, your drawing pages. Because you can always erase a mistake, right, before you color it. Now, after you color it, you're kind of, that's it, because it's very hard to erase a colored pencil. But, you know, a spot that you've already colored, and then cover it with another color, and then you end up making a third color. So if you make a mistake, you adjust while you're coloring, you move on. I do that all the time. Sometimes I'll put down a color, and I'll say, mm, it seemed like a good idea at the time, and guess what? It wasn't. So you know what? You adjust around it and you move on. Don't pitch the page. Just adjust accordingly. Okay, so right here I gotta get behind a flame. Let me zoom in on that a little for you. I want you to see this particular part. So I drew my line here coming up to the wax. Then I had my little in-between line between this candle and this flame, and then the other side of the flame and up. So that's what I'm saying is if your floorboard comes behind a candle, put it in there. Don't skip it. There we go. Isn't that cool? By the additions of some simple lines now, let me pull out. All right, floorboards. See? That was my dog sneezing, if you heard her. 
By the way, I'm looking at doing another coloring, um, I don't know if I want to say tutorial, but another uh, coloring, adult coloring with Eileen Vick. This is Lost Ocean that I did. You'll probably recognize it. I'm just going to show you this real quick. Let's see if you recognize it. Yeah, it's the pages with all the fish. And as you can see, I've added the whale, added the dolphins, added the bubbles, the compass. And I also um, colored over the fish so it looks like the fish are going behind the whale, which will really show up once I color them in. Uh, just fun stuff. And if you're interested in me doing a tutorial on that page and how I did all this, contact me. You know, I like to show you stuff like that. All right. So, going to adjust camera a little bit. Slide with me. There we go. Okay. So, we're looking at the added lines on the floor to make floorboards. Let me get the original again. And I'm going to put it right above there so you can see what we're after. That's going to stick up, so let me put something with weight on it here. There we go. You can still see that. All right. So, what we have to get now are these little squiggle lines because we're going to do the, the squiggles on here. Let me adjust my light so it doesn't glare at you. Now, I happen to be using a mechanical pencil, and this has a very, very sharp point. So, you've got to be super careful how hard you press because if you press too hard, you will indent the paper so you may erase the pencil off your page, but you still have the indent from pressing too hard. So please be careful. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and draw on the page with the candles on it, because that will be more realistic for you, rather than me going back to the one that didn't have any of the added candles. So we're going to draw wood. Now wood's got the knots in it. Again, very, very light lines. I'm going to start with this one right here. And I'm just going to come down with a wood pattern. And a wood pattern, a lot of times, are just parallel lines. Very, very light. And you just want to waver them a little bit. Now see how I'm kind of following the previous ones that I put there. Very light. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a little knot here. So that is like an oval circle. Kind of like a puddle that you did with your wax. And then draw another line inside of it. There you go. Now that was not complex, was it? Now here's my floorboard. Now I'm going to do my next one here. Da, da, da. And see, just follow your squiggles. Parallel them. And if you ever get stuck about how wood should look, do a search on Google. Get the image in your mind. Call it up on your phone. Leave your phone right next to you while you're drawing. Look at that. See? If you want, you could put a knot in here, but not necessarily. Not necessary, excuse me. And let me get a little closer just to give you a little more detail. I'm doing this plank right here. I don't have to worry about the candles, which are right here, but I do have floorboard up here. So this and this are the same. 
So let me bring down a couple of squiggle lines here, okay? Now I've got two here, so you really want two coming out here. Squiggle, squiggle. Now these can be a little straighter if you want, okay? Now. My wood board is still here because that's like super straight. We don't want to lose track of that and you'll see what will happen when we go to color this. But all I'm doing is just adding literally squiggle lines. There we go. Yeah. And then look at that. We can make that line parallel. And we can make that one just come straight down if you want. Okay, let's look at mine now again. So compare the two. See? See? Straightforward. Don't make it harder than it is. It truly is not difficult. Alright. I'm going to skip this one for a minute and I'm going to do like a partial knot right here. Look how cool that is. Now got some more squiggle lines and let's follow our board up so here we've got this one I've got three lines here, so I should really have three lines coming out. There you go. I really want to give you confidence in doing this stuff. There we go. Now, I don't have any board up here because actually this is a uh, candle, but when I made the copy, it kind of got cut off. So I'm just going to trace the candle out to the outside here so that we, you can see that this is actually the candle. Okay. And that way you can tell where floorboard is and where candle is. Okay. So we got another squiggle here, another squiggle there, got there, got there, and through there. All right. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully you are seeing how, how straightforward this is and so not intimidating. Don't let the stuff intimidate you. It's too much fun. Now see how I made kind of a bulge? If you want, you can just make a side piece. Okay? And then, oh my gosh, wait until we color this. Then you're really going to see some magic. All right. So anyway, this week on Thursday, it's the dentist in the morning, and then I have to go to the shoulder doctor in the afternoon. I just had a bone density scan done. That was kind of interesting. So they can see what's going on with that bone. Basically, the rib in my left uh, shoulder is dislocated, and it's point. it's like a... If you bend your finger, it's like the your knuckle pointing upward, and it's pushing upward on the artery, which runs just underneath your shoulder skin. So it's pushing up. So two doctor's appointments this week, but that's okay. All right, so I'm doing here. And then following down. Remember, if you put two lines at the top, three lines, please make sure that you 
follow the lines through all the way on the bottom, otherwise it's going to look kind of funny. There we go. This stuff is all, whoops, as I get off camera, this stuff is all candles, so that's why we don't have to worry about it. Um, oh, we got some lines here, okay. One, two, and then three. Again, lightly. Yeah. Let me pull out just a tad for you. Okay, so this floorboard is right here. I think I'm going to do a knot. I really am hoping that you are seeing how straightforward and not exotic this is. Now, in this case, I've got my knot up at the top, so I'm going to go ahead and draw a couple of lines here. And I'm not going to worry about continuation lines because, in effect, this line would come up to the knot and maybe even go around it. Or you could consider that this line here is a continuation of that. Let's put another one here. You want random patterns. Some of these can be way curvy, some straight. Okay. And see how I drew those two right here coming together at the bottom? It's okay. You can do that on this one. So what I want you to do, I don't know if you've made copies of your pages before you're doing this stuff, but you know what, if you're working on the original book, that's okay, just do it lightly. Or make a copy of your page, or put some tracing paper over the top and practice some lines. Okay, so we got this one to do yet. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. I skipped one spot here. I'll put there we go. And I hope that this is giving you tons and tons of confidence to mark up your books because you know that's what I encourage as I'm doing these videos and by the way as I'm drawing these lines, I'm turning my pencil a little bit, and it keeps my point pretty well sharp. Okay, so let me turn my page for you. There's your comparison page. Let me pull out so you can see. Look how cool that looks. What do you think? And of course, you know, it looks like a lot of um, um, scribbles right now because there's no distinguishing between the different planks.
but once we start coloring this you're really going to see these planks pop because see how I did them here is I made the lines in between the planks darker I made some of the knots darker and so you can really see what's going on here now if you feel confident after you've drawn your lines that you want to go ahead and start coloring have at it send me the picture um, you've got my email address adult coloring with Eileen Vic at charter.net and I'll take a look see at what you've done but see so yes you too can do this all right I hope this is empowering you and giving you lots of ideas again we are doing mermaids with Selena finish there's the book and we're good to go alright guys that's it for now happy coloring thank you for spending your time with me and God bless take care now bye bye